Today we're going to take a look at integrating with Microsoft Dynamics GP using Smart Connect. Right now we're in a map which is where you set up an integration with Smart Connect and we're going to expand our data source. In this example we're using the multi-data source connector because for this specific map we're comparing data from two different tables and only wanting to bring in our new records into Dynamics GP. But if we expand this data source you can see we have a number of options when we want to use GP data as our source. We can work with extender data, smart list data, smart view data. We can use the GP query which allows us still using that ODBC connection to the GP tables or we can use data available via service-based architecture when we select that GP service. So that's how we select uh, what we're going to use as our data source and then when we look at using GP as our destination in this example, we're creating and updating the customer card as well as creating some transactions, some invoices in, in Dynamics GP. Now, um, once you select what you want to write to, so in this case, we're using our Dynamics GP destination, and then you would specify what group you want to work with in GP. And so in our case, we're working with sales order processing. But any of those groups and nodes available via eConnect, you can write to, as well as the the data available via service-based architecture can be a destination. And so in our example, we selected that we wanted to utilize sales orders. So you can specify what companies you want to integrate with, and then you're able to really run your steps. So in Dynamics GP, we were creating and updating our customer. And when I open up the mapping for what we are, what data we're mapping from our source to our destination, you can see we've mapped a couple of fields, but the other thing I would want to point out is that with writing to Dynamics GP and utilizing Smart Connect, we have specific transformations for working with the objects in GP. So you can do things like get the next number for the, some of the different objects in Dynamics GP. We have those really set up and make it easy to do that. And then we have some generic options so you can uh, work with translation tables, leverage, calculated fields, and we have a library of functions that you can utilize with that. The last thing I wanted to highlight is that when you purchase Smart Connect, you have rights to a number of different integration templates as well as data entry templates, which is what I have open right now. I have one example for GL entries. And so with this example, I mean, we've basically set this up so that your accountant or your business user could easily leverage this to submit their journal entries into Dynamics GP. So I'm just going to correct this one amount, we'll balance this out, and when I click submit, then that'll go ahead and process. We have a number of templates just like that. They're available for download on the E1 website. Pretty easy to use, but again, you're gonna be able to push that data into GP um, and you have a number of starting points for that. To summarize what we looked at today, we reviewed the data that you can leverage for GP integration using Smart Connect. So you can work with any of the data available via eConnect, your service-based architecture data, smart list data, smart view data, extender data, and also any data that you expose for integration using Node Builder. You can also take advantage of a number of resources and starting points with the templates that we offer. So we offer integration templates, templates that are really good for importing data to GP when you're initially getting started with Dynamics GP, and also some data entry templates. So we looked at an example of using journal entries and pushing those into Dynamics GP. So hopefully you found a couple things that were interesting for you here today. We'd encourage you to learn more by going to trysmartconnect.com. There you can see a product tour. You can also register for a demo and you can sign up for a free 30-day trial. So thanks so much for taking the time to review this video and have a great day.